Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be going over Unify Network Application 9.3.43, which is just released to release candidate, and hopefully it will go to general soon enough. This update does bring quite a few improvements, including enhanced content filtering with our cyber secure, and we'll go all over that and what else we have in this update. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. If you want to support my channel, I do have Ubiquity affiliate links and we do have YouTube memberships. Now let's get right into this update. The first new improvement is within our client table and the ways that we could search for different devices. We can see up top here, we have a search function. So if we want to search for a specific client, let's say Chromecast, we're able to do that. We could also do online or we could do offline devices. And then below we could search for the connection type. So we could either search for wireless clients or we could search for our wired clients. And then we have our access points. If we wanna look for a specific client that is connected to a specific access point, we'll just say my U7 Pro in wall, we could see that there's two clients on that right now. Chantel's PC and the NVIDIA Shield. Currently, I only have one SSID enabled as I've been doing a lot of different testing and ripping apart my network. And this says Dolores, which is my Wi-Fi SSID. But if you had multiple SSIDs, you would see it here and you'd be able to filter from that. We also have our different VLANs, which you would see all of your VLANs. Currently, we just have a flat network at my house. Something else nice about this new client list, and this is all in real time. If we click, we could see different vendors and I'll just say Google, and we could see everything that is Google related within my client list. Now, even more within this client list, we have different radios. So we could choose between our five gigahertz or 2.4, or if you had six gigahertz enabled, and then our different Wi-Fi generations, we have Wi-Fi four, five, and six here. We could also check out by our link speed and we could do the usage as well as our different configuration. So that is really cool. At the bottom, we could also add a client and we could customize the table. When we click customize the table, we could turn on or off whatever we want to see. So if we want to see the MAC address of all these devices, we would just check it on and then the MAC address would be added. Another great improvement within Unify Network 9.3 is the new alarm manager. And this is pretty much like the alarm manager within Unify Protect but for Unify Network. You do need to have Unify OS 4.3 to use this, which is currently still in early access, but once it comes out, you'll be able to set up different alarms. We'd see all the default alarms here and we could create our new alarm. We have a couple different alarm types, so we could do monitoring for client device connection, client device disconnected or high traffic. We could do internet, so internet disconnected, high latency pack loss data limit, and then we have power, security, and then we have system. So if we wanted to set up some monitoring, say for a client device disconnected, we could do that and then we set up our scope. So our scope could include all client devices or we could say a specific device or we could also exclude that device. And then we wanna do our action. So if we wanna notify, it's gonna go out to all of our admins and we could set up a webhook. I'm really glad that they did this and hopefully it just becomes better and better over the next few updates. This next improvement also requires Unify OS 4.3 and the purchase of CyberSecure, but we could see our content filter and it has changed quite a bit. We give it a name and then we select our source. So our source could either be a full network or a set of devices or just one device. We have our ad block if you want that checked off and now we have our safe search. So hovering over the eye icon, it filters explicit content in search engine results. So Google, Bing, and YouTube. We also have different filtering. So it could be off, enhanced, or basic, adult, and malicious filters. Now you can see all of the different categories, which there are quite a bit. So we have adult and sensitive content. We have AI and crypto. We have business and professional. We have culture and entertainment. We have network infrastructure. We have new and risky domains, security and threat protection, social media and communications, and then we have other. We also have these allow list, block list, and we can put these content filters on a schedule. So this is a huge leap forward. And I really do think that CyberSecure is worth the money each year. Another improvement within this update is our WAN SLAs. And these are just the ones that the system created for me by default, but we could create a new SLA. From here, we would give it a name, server condition, verification server. For a verification server, we could either do it a type by ping or we could do it by DNS. And then below that, we could do the ping intervals and the time period. We also have pocket loss, threshold, jitter, and we also have latency. And then we could add a second verification server if you'd like. They have also redone the system logging within our Unify network application. As you can see right now, we're just doing all categories and we could see different types. We could see the category, the events, and then the description. 
Cody McCallum access Unify network using this web source and it will give you also the IP. Also on the left hand side, we could look by severity. So we have low, we have medium, we have high, and then we have very high. And then we have traffic logs in the flow section and we could do our time range. We could also look by the different categories. So we have monitoring, internet, power, security system, and then we have host, and then we could do all of our event types. And we have a uh, push notification settings and the export to Seam server. I'm not running a Seam server right now, but apparently they have done a lot more with that. And it gives you full CEF compliance for seamless integration with your Seam platform. That's gonna be it for this video on Unify Network 9.3. I really do think cybersecure is worth it with all of those new content filtering options. Also, the new client list is really nice and easy to work with. Let me know what's the biggest improvement down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.